Nostalgia can truly be something powerful. It, it tears at your heartstrings for a day gone by that you wish that you could go back to, like back in the day when we could play our good friend Earthworm Jim here on original hardware. Now, something you can still do today, but it's one of those things that there's always a longing and a looking back. It's one of the reasons why Space Mountain is one of my favorite rides of all time. It may be the oldest ride in the park, but it still has the longest line. Woo! Okay, lame Ric Flair reference there. But we are here today to talk about the Evercade versus Premium Pack. And for those who aren't aware of what the Evercade versus is, essentially what this is, is a home consoleized version of the Evercade handheld. Well, what the heck is an Evercade? What they have kind of built this brand on is bringing classic games from the past forward in such a way that they play great in handheld mode or in television mode. And the beautiful thing, 1080p visuals right out of the box. These are officially licensed as well from the original distributors and software manufacturers on here. And we actually just got this in yesterday from our good friend Ryan at CastleManiaGames.com. Make sure you go ahead and sign up for his newsletters. He will have more information on the Evercade Versus and all the offerings that he has there. Now, we recently shared one of our YouTube shorts that showed that we do now have the system along with a variety of different titles. And what we're going to do in this episode, we're going to unbox this. We're going to see the fit and finish of the system. We're going to check out the controllers. I have no previous experience with any Evercade sort of product up to this point. So I'm really looking forward to this. A couple things we're looking to test out too. This uses USB ports for the controllers. Is it going to be compatible with wireless USB controllers such as our Sega controller here from Retrobit? I'm also curious to see how the overall quality of the ROMs and everything look because what I like about this is it takes what would normally be the crowd that would go after like a flashback system or one of those, you know, 20 in one sort of auto pack in systems. And it really takes it to the next level, or at least that's the promise. We're going to go ahead and check it out. Bad dudes, battle lanes, blockout, breakthrough, burger time. I like the fact that this is showing titles from both cartridges in here, so I don't have to toggle back and forth. Oh, there we go. So that's showing all. There I can show cart one, cart two. I, I like the fact that I'm seeing all of them here. Take a look. I like the fact too that you have the uh, um, controls right here as well. So A is jump, X is left, B is right. Select is insert coin. So it looks like this is the arcade um, ROM that we'll be playing. Load it up relatively quickly. Oh yeah, this is definitely the arcade ROM, which is kind of neat. Especially for someone like me, like I don't like downloading and playing ROMs. I just don't. So this gives me a way to play the arcade accurate ROM. Now one thing I am struggling with is just the fact that the, the left and right aspect of how you attack. It feels smooth, though, I will say that much. I am just not very good at the arcade version of Double Dragon 2. I honestly don't think I've ever played it before. Okay, so that's home button. And we will go quit. Oop. Home button. Quit. I like the fact that I can press up to get all the way back. So we're going to go back out of here. Let's check out... You know what? We're going to check out Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja. So it's A and B, which I can understand that. Now, I have played this ROM before on, like, the Super Retrocade and some of the other systems that are out there. But what's nice about this is this is actually a physical cartridge. Oh! For the, the dramatic I died sound effect. I mean, this does remind me of the, uh, the arcade ROM. I mean, this is pretty accurate. 
The sound is good too. I'm liking the sound. Sprite work looks great. Dude's gotta do something about his halitosis. There are times I half expect that fire to come out of his belly button. Almost reminds me of Karnov in a little way. Got him! Alright, same thing. We'll go to back to the main menu. We'll play Burger Time real quick. I don't know that I've ever played the arcade version of this. I think everything that I've ever played has been, you know, either a, a home or a, uh, well, it would have to be a home port, uh, like the Atari 2600 or, you know, systems like that. I don't know that I've ever played the arcade version of this. Oh, and it showed right there as I tried to hit a button to salt him and... What? You only get one single life on it? That's kind of unfortunate. I know we've been playing the uh, NES version a bit lately. I don't know why we even kind of got into it, but we did. Alright, should be able to wrap up these burgers here. There we go. Alright, now we're, what we're going to do, we're going to actually change a cartridge, and we're going to put one of the others in. So, of course, I had to put the Interplay version in. I mean, come on. Here's something interesting. This is the Retro Fighters Brawler 64 USB edition. And uh, it looks to be working. So, let's check out what Earthworm Jim does. So, it doesn't read the analog stick. So, that's interesting. Up, down... Left, right, A, B, X, Y, L1, R2, L2, R2, start, select, sure. All right, so I've got our mapping hopefully set. It's the Genesis ROM. Interesting. So what I'm wondering is if the wireless Genesis controller would not work as well. So we'll test that out here in a second. This looks great. It doesn't seem like it really has that that punch though that the Genesis music had. I think this looks really good though. I mean this is pretty exceptional looking. It's interesting to note that it doesn't recognize the analog stick on here at all, so... Something just to be aware of. But, I mean, this looks, I would say, on par with my Super NES that's been RGB modded. I mean, this is really, really good looking. Or I would even say the... Um, uh, my JVCX, I don't know if I've ever mentioned I actually have a JVCX side. Uh, that's just for you, Chris at Game Dad, uh, and Jay over at uh, Square Pegs. Okay, Zoomer. It's, it's not that hard to remember, dude. Come on. But, um, oh, come on. It's, this looks as good, if not better, than okay. either of those solutions as well. Um, now, on this controller, too, I don't have a home button right now, so I'm going to have to do a hard reset. I'm gonna grab a Genesis controller and see what that does. So now I do have my Retrobit Sega Genesis uh, controller here. So uh, six button with shoulder. So we'll see if we can map this as T-pad works. That's awesome. Uh, system, map controller. Dude, it even has it in here. Uh, 
a b x y that's awesome all right awesome so let's go we've thrown in the atari 2600 games which i mean it's not like they are super intense here um I want to go to Tempest. So this is not the game that I was expecting. I was expecting at least some kind of music, but it doesn't have anything. So one of the things I just did is I did reconnect the stock controller to USB port 2. Yes, it does. Okay, so that's a way around it, um, is you can go ahead and use the home button as player 2 and be be good to go let's see i did also swap out again to uh, another one of the technos uh cartridges we're gonna try double dragon i want to see if this is the nes version or the arcade version and i think this is the nes okay we're gonna go mode a one player yeah this is the nes rom which i'm perfectly fine with um love this game love 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 this game Almost wish it was the Master System version, though. Oh, I tried to jump kick and I don't have that ability yet. Yeah, this looks exactly like the NES version. I mean, this is... And, and I mean, I will say having my uh, HDMI modded system, the only thing, I think Billy looks a little bit orangish. Um, so the color palette might be off a little bit, but I mean, I'm nitpicking at that point. Like, this looks really, really crisp. Come on, Linda, sit down. Come on, Linda, you know just as well as I do that uh, CRTs are terrible, scan lines are ugly. Sound is really good, too. I mean, that's the other thing, is, is not only are the visuals there, but the sound, looks, or the sound is good, too. Yeah, overall, I'm, I'm digging this. So we're going to go ahead. We'll pause. We'll go home. Let's play some River City Ransom. And as we go through and kind of test this out, you know, what are, what are my thoughts on this? Uh, first and foremost, this thing is slick. It really is. And the fact that it can be used with third-party controllers, wonderful. Um, I think that the... The overall presentation is great. The fact that you can, you know, upgrade your your library as time goes along. I mean, versus, you know, the some of the plug and plays that are out there that pretty much you spend, you know, 60, 80, 100 bucks on and you got what you got. You know, I even look at this compared to like an NES Classic. This offers so much more than the NES or Super NES Classic because of the fact that you can have up to four players, the fact that you can expand your library, the fact that you can easily use USB controllers on this. Um, overall, this is terrific. I think the the visuals and the sound and everything look great. I think that the, the options for the games are terrific. Um, so what don't I like about it? Well, first and foremost, I really wish that they would include at least an HDMI adapter. Like, I get not including a power brick, because that's, there's a few things there. First of all, without the power brick, not only are you reducing costs, but you're also not having to send this through for compliance. Um, and that can be expensive and, and just annoying. And I get that, you know, more and more manufacturers in a variety of different genres are no longer including um, power adapters. Like, you look at Apple and Samsung, and and Google themselves, they're no longer including power bricks with their, their new phones. So I'm okay with that. Um, but at least have a an HDMI cable would be really nice. The fact that it's micro USB versus USB-C is kind of a pain. Um, I think this, the included controller is decent. Um, I think overall play control, it's responsive. There's 
you know, no issues with lag or latency or delay or anything along those lines. Um, this is a really good package. All right, I'm impressed. And like going into this, I figured, all right, this would be kind of a neat machine. I really, really like this. I keep coming back to Retrobit several years ago had their Super Retrocade. And it had a number of different games preloaded into it. It was a plug and play for about $60. This reminds me of that, but it takes it to the next level. And that's no slight against the Super Retrograde. I've had so much fun with that system too. And I can see having even more fun with this system here. First and foremost, the fact that you have an established library with terrific publishers right out of the gate. This thing has got great titles available that will basically appeal to arcade enthusiasts, retro enthusiasts, Nintendo enthusiast, Sega enthusiast, and a whole lot more. I love the fact too that, you know, this controller actually is a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. Um, it does feel a bit wide and a bit big, but it's not bad. The fact that I can use it with third-party USB controllers, and it, the fact that it recognized the retro bit, Sega Genesis controller, that was awesome. Now, I've got to check my controller too because it wasn't recognizing when I was trying to map the home button. That was the only thing I had an issue with there. Um, and I do love the little LED indicators on the front of the system too. It's a nice little aesthetic touch. Now, I will say the cartridges, they're blah. They just are. I wish that they had better label art on these. Um, but like if you look at this here, this is the side that goes down in the system. You're not going to see that anyways when it is in use. What you'll see is the top here where it says Data East Arcade 1. Now one thing I didn't notice until I was kind of getting everything set here for our close and our conclusion is the fact that you have numbers on each of the case so that you can make sure if you're going for a full set, like you can look at, okay, I have 01, 02, 05, 04, there's another 01. You can, you can collect and keep track of your collection like that as you see fit. Now, I will say, I will be getting my caliper out and I'm gonna be designing some 3D stands for these because I wanna have something to display this that looks really, really nice. I'm not a fan of the fact that it's not USB-C. The fact that it's micro USB, definitely a bummer for me. I can look past the fact, like I mentioned earlier, no USB brick, I'm fine with that. This is being powered right now off of my uh, five in one, five volt, one amp output, power brick tower thing that I have works without a problem. An HDMI cable would have been nice. I know it would have added a couple bucks to the overall cost, but you can throw on a cheap HDMI cable. Um, now there are a couple different versions available of this set. I do like this set here very much. Um, and the reason for it is because it is a complete system to get you rolling right out of the gate. You get not just the system, you get the system, two controllers, and then you do get, hopefully those don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. You do get the Technos Arcade and Data East Arcade uh, collections. You get 18 games right out of the box. Um, it does have a the ability to connect to the internet to update firmware if need be, install patches as need be. Overall, a really, really slick little system. And this is not meant to take a shot at their situation. It's kind of what I wish the Amico would have been, is the fact that it has a great collection. I mean, look at Atari 7800, 2600, 7800, uh, NES, NES, uh, 2600, NES, Super NES, NES, Atari 2600. It's kind of what I was hoping the Amico would be. That's what this is. This provides you that catalog of games that you don't have to pirate, you don't have to download ROMs, you don't have to configure a retro pie, you don't have to get a multi-cart, and the visuals look terrific. Now again, this was provided for us at no charge from Ryan at CastleManiaGames.com. I will have links down below where you can pre-order any of these. Now this is coming to the castle soon, not available quite yet at the time of this filming, but he is getting these in in the very near future. The fact that I have one here, I would say in the coming days, he will have these available for pre-order. So um, really super neat system. It very much exceeded my expectations. Now, if you're looking for other gadgets and gasmos and uh, you know all-in-one sorts of systems and things like that that we've checked out in the past, those videos are coming up for you right now. 
Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you want to help support Rockstar Productions and be a part of our community, there's a number of different ways you can do so. First and foremost, join us over on our Patreon page or become a channel member here on YouTube. By joining through either one of those methods, you get early access to just about all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. We also give you shout outs at the end of each and every one of our videos. You can also pick up some awesome Rock Solid Productions swag. We've got t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and more available through our Teespring store on screen right now too. You can also pick up some of our awesome 3D printed cartridge stands, Amiibo holders, Nintendo DS holders, and more by visiting our 3D printer store on screen right now as well. Links for everything will be down below in a pinned comment. If you want to stay up to date with everything we have going on here at Rock Solid Productions, make sure that you're following us on the different social media networks. We're we're on Facebook at facebook.com slash Productions, Instagram at instagram.com slash Productions GK, and Twitter at Rocksolid Studios. If you're looking to pick this and other retro and modern gaming accessories up, make sure that you head on over to castlemaniagames.com. He has a feature over there called Castle Cash, where the more you spend, the more you earn towards future purchases, and Castle Cash is just like cash. He also offers convenient payment plans for more expensive items over $50. Finally, make sure that you use promo code Rocksolid. 10 when you're shopping at castlemaniagames.com as it can save you up to 10% on most items on the website. Again, thank you for watching this episode and I cannot wait to see you again soon.